to take a look at stories making the headlines in Nigeria <coughs> newspapers. I have with me in the studio leadership and communication strategist Dr. Ojo and political technocrat uh, Dr. Dayo Kaire. Gentlemen, it's a very cold Monday morning. Uh, yes, <laughs> I nearly did not want to stand up from my bed this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Somebody, Thank God for all this cockroach. I always say, Kuku, <laughs> you cool, <laughs> really. Somebody was uh, accusing me of um, <coughs> having gone back to my village. I said no. I, I slept close by, but just to rise up to wake up was very It was difficult. a challenge. Yeah, was a challenge. <laughs> I can't you imagine. See, on that Boeing 777, yeah. you see, uh, I want people to understand that aviation industry develops every time. Absolutely. There's no how that one way or the other you won't have uh, incidences. But the thing is, what do you make out of it thereafter? Mm -hmm. Which is what yeah, Boeing, uh, a statement Boeing uh, yeah, is trying to make Boeing, with this. Boeing is even now adding about two different versions, mm. putting them together. And I even watch, I think I watched the flight. The flight. Yeah, All right. Let, let, flight. Let's head back yeah. to uh, the business of the day, which is looking at the pages of the newspapers. And I begin with the Daily Times. Ihedi Oha heads for Supreme Court to... Uh, seek judgment review, groups query decisions, say review would save democracy. And to the front page of the News Direct, federal government gulps 3.15 trillion naira from 5% VAT in three years, contributes 37% to total non-oil revenue. On the front page of the Daily Trust, uh, federal capital territory healthcare centers in deplorable condition lack drugs, uh, manpower. Right, we'll be looking at that story shortly. <coughs> and the front page of the blueprint, Buhari to Danjuma. Nigeria's uh, confidence in me matters most, not yours. A safety net scheme yet to impact majority of Shibaju. On the business AM, bank profitability faces pressure from higher CRR, says analysts. And finally, on the front page of the Nation newspaper, Buhari Oshibajo and I have a perfect relationship. No cabal running my government. All right, we'll get back to the front page of the Daily Trust, gentlemen, talking about the Federal Capital Territory Healthcare Centers in Deplorable Condition, which was uh, an investigative report by the Daily Trust. But then we recall that... Um, the wife of the president, uh, either two years ago or mm. three, made a statement uh, that uh, she was worried or concerned about the state of uh, the healthcare center in the federal capital territory where she visited, <coughs> and there was no Panadol. And so she had to raise an alarm. Yet, years later, we are still talking about this. What does this say of our effort to actually look into issues of health in the country? I'll start with you, Dr. Kairi. Is it only about health? It's even beyond health. Well, the focus even, now is health. Yeah, I know. Even research institutions. You see, the, the thing that pains me mostly about, about <coughs> the kind of leaders we have is all this uh, self, always talking about self, that is always annoying me. Look at the virus that broke out in China. Coronavirus. I, I don't know whether you are aware. China they are said building they are hospitals. building an hospital within six days. Mm. Within six days, as a reaction. I could not count the number of tractors. Um, um, uh, you can't count. Do you understand? Yes. Is, is it tractors even, even human beings? Even with, for them to have been able to design that thing within that period, it's to give them kudos. Response. Do you understand? Response. What are we here? What are we doing here? Over the weekend, I was telling some people, and I think I repeated it this morning with some people behind the scene here. I said, if only Nigerians can look at the gap in between the contour of both natural and whatever human resources we have, and where we are today, then they will know that, yes, even we Nigerians need to sit up. We are not where we are supposed to be. Look at it. Ordinary Abuja. We are talking about... And we have other states. We are talking about that. We are not talking about his state. Mm. Where somebody is not saying without him. That party will fail. And I, talk, I quickly... <laughs> I thought about it. Don't bring me into that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? They are always talking about politics. It has to be, mm. be made to rule. They are, not, they are not talking about... These are the promises I have made. Look out exactly to Trump. 
despite the what CNN and all that are saying, they are saying no. Trump is somebody who is following the promises he has made for his people. Who among here is following the promises they have made for the people? You can imagine the other time in Kogi, another governor coming to Nida for the people. Wait, please vote for <laughs> this man. So why can't we? Why can't we? All this money we are squandering all up and down. Use it to develop our infrastructure. Rather than us, so, 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 some, some few weeks ago, the president was even saying, nobody should go for health, uh, whatever, outside the, country. outside the country. Then where do we now go for, for, for air checks? <laughs> where do we go from here? Uh, uh, let's get to Dr. Uh, view to this now. I wonder how worrisome this is for you because we see that even issues of manpower is being raised by yeah. this report and we see that uh, most of our doctors, professionals are traveling outside yeah. the country saying the condition is not even conducive for them to function. Where do we go from here? It's a scary reality because um, there seems to be a conspiracy between the governors, that's those governing us, and the governed, and us, not to make Nigeria move forward. There's a conspiracy between the people and the leaders not to make Nigeria move forward. Really? And, yes, and it's a sad reality. Now, I'm going to start from a tweet. Was it a tweet or on Instagram? There was a social media post by a doctor who relocated, I don't know whether you saw it, I think about two weeks ago, who said he was attend attending to about 100 patients yes, yes. every day in Nigeria. And mm. at the other side, he saw the amount of money that uh, he was paid and he could only speak in tongues. You understand, when you look at um, our manpower, the capacity we have built in people, we have the ability to take care of ourselves health-wise. But when you look at the environment, it's another thing entirely. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria today, it is ridiculous that the countries around us, including Cameroon and some of the countries, that their life expectancy is higher than ours. Mm. Nigeria today, as a woman, perhaps you will live up to 54. As a man, is 52. It's understandable. Now, and there's a conspiracy that the... I, th I think this is why we need the health sector the more now. When you are talking about the life expectancy of an average Nigerian, it's not just a product of what government didn't do. Mm. It's also about the greed of those in government and those outside of the government. I'm going to cite an example. In Lagos today, I can tell you that from um, morning <coughs> to evening, you cannot, eat, you cannot eat a plate of food that is wholesome without chemical. It is impossible. Because majority of the fruit that they even said we should continue to eat fruit, they are poisoned somehow. The other day I went to buy boli by the roadside because I used that to, um, um, I, I stopped eating sausage on the road. So I usually buy boli. I have a mind to say that at least this one will be healthier than what I used to eat. Until I tasted one and it was smelly chemical. I had to go back to the woman. Madam, uh, he said, oh, come, my be, no, don't, don't be angry. He cut a fish, to fish money. Now you, you, you look mm -hmm. at the risk we are living in. Ka Kabad. You look mm. at the risk. Lately, we are talking about paracetamol that they used to cook meat. Yes. Everything is upside down. And we also now we do not have the health facility that can actually um, live up to the challenge mm. of what the Nigerian people are facing. It's beyond Abuja. It starts right inside the Aso Rock. It speaks to Abuja and to virtually all of all, all other states of the Federation. Mm. It's quite unfortunate. Really? And that has to do with lack of standard mm. in everything we sell out here, standard. Let, let, sir, let me talk quickly, about because Apple. Because we, we have run out yes, of time. Let me, let me talk about Apple. <coughs> That's why I think it's very important for us to attach value to ourselves. Majority of the apples that are imported into this country, the preservative that they use on it, they don't use it in those countries that, that, uh, that absolutely, are and them. so that is where the standards the organization of ah, Nigeria that, comes that in. I'm talking about All standards. right, gentlemen, let's leave it here at this point. Thank you so much for your contribution on the newspaper. It's time to take a look at stories making the headlines in the Nigerian newspapers this morning. And I have with me in the studio a communication expert, Dr. Juan John. And of course, Dayo is in the studio. Thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure being here. Good morning. Thank you. So happy happy let's Monday. Happy Monday. Thank God it's Monday. <laughs> 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 All right, let's take a look at the newspapers this morning. And uh, we'll start with the Daily Times. It says, Ihedio heads for Supreme Court to seek judgment review. Groups, groups query decisions say review would save democracy. That's according to the Daily Times this morning. 
The news director saying federal government gobs 3.15 trillion naira from 5% VAT in three years, contributes 37% to total non-oil rev revenue. Daily Trust says federal government's FCT health care centers in deplorable conditions lack drugs and manpower. The blueprint, it says here, yeah, Buhari to Danjuma. Nigerians' confidence in me matters most, not yours. Our safety net scheme yet to impact majority, says Oshimbanjo. Business AM says bank profitability faces pressure from higher CRR, says analysts. The nation says here, yeah, Buhari, Oshimbajo and I have perfect relationship. No cabal running my government. And of course, those are the newspapers this morning. And we will stick with the one in the news direct here. It says federal government got 3.15 trillion naira from 5% VAT in three years. And the writer says contributes 37% to total non-oil <coughs> revenue. 3.15 trillion naira. That's a that's um what has been generated in three years from a 5% VAT. Gentlemen, what's your take on this now? VAT has been increased to 7.5%, so it means that more revenue to the government. But in three years, we've got 3.15 trillion naira. Dale. Yeah. <coughs> you see, in three years, this is how much you have gotten from VAT. Where is it? In I mean, in, in, in three-dimensional. Think you now, okay? If we have been able to accrue 3.5 trillion, uh, trillion naira mm -hmm. in three years, what have we used that money to achieve within our, 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 our socio-economic landscape? I think, <coughs> rather than even talking about this problem, we should start talking about solutions to solve all these problems that mm -hmm. we are facing. So you would Nigerians, Nigerians need to be more uh, 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 ecclesiastic rather than being unnecessarily religious, whereby you say respect the uh, considered authority. No. Let us start now to be asking questions. This is how much we have been able to garner mm. over the year. Okay, give us the book. Let us see what you have used this money for. Now you are now increasing VAT to 7.5%. Five five percent. That means you are you are going to be accruing. I mean, I, yeah, I even saw it in the papers the other time where they said that federal government is going to accrue about seven point something trillion again. So what are they going to use this money for? In but three this, years, one point five. Uh, it, it means that we've gotten like one point five trillion year. naira each year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it means it would have been better to it would have been good enough to do something for the country. For the for country. Now, now the issue is, look at what we were discussing the other time, L sector in Abuja. Look at our educational sector. Look at everywhere. So let us start, let Nigerians mm. now know that it is time for us to be more ecclesiastic than being religious. We okay. should be asking questions. Show us the book. If you don't show us the book, then we ain't going to give you more money. Mm. Because we can't be contributing money for some people's pocket and they'll now be using that money to oppress us again. Okay. Enough is enough. Let me hear from yeah, you. Um, all, all over the world, I think 10% um, of the people control 90% of the resources all over the world. The essence of government is to now be a leveler mm. so that those who are living in abject poverty, you allocate more resources to them so that at least they, you can solve the problem of poverty. In a country where we have over 100 million people still living under the poverty line, it's not a country where you put more burden of taxation under mm -hmm. any guise on people. I repeatedly said it that uh, no government prospers on money. There's no government anywhere that, oh, we have money and that's why we are prosperous. No, government prospers based on managerial capacity, <coughs> ability to manage your resources. Mm. Unfortunately, I repeatedly said it that the mindset of this government is that of MMM. Mm. MMM is more money. They think that um, if we have more money, that our problems will be solved. Unfortunately, the more money we have, mm. we had, we had um, shown over the years that we more have the money. capacity to turn even the blessings of God to burden on the people. 
That is why you go to the Niger Delta, for example, where um, they have petroleum resources, you discover that they are still underdeveloped. So I think rather than putting more burden of taxation on the people under any guise, I think government should be more innovative in the area of management of the available resources. For example, we have seen individual star roads. I belong to a commission that, um, a, a religious organization that did road construction lately. When you compare the amount of money that individual, the individual used to get some of this project done, you compare it with government, you discover that the gap is just too much. Mm. And nobody is asking questions as to why that is done. In fact, I do not even have problem with those legal monies that are unnecessarily too high. I have issues with illegal monies that are deducted here and there. How do you think people are on, <coughs> excuse me, ask questions as to these issues? Because we've seen situations where people ask questions and they have been arrested. No, listen to this. Last, sometime, late last week, I was listening to this uh, lady, as of reps. She's even a Democrat in the US, talking about billionaires in America. He said, yes, they are sure that, he is sure that they made money out of the people. But then, this money they are making out of the people, let this money go, go back, back to, to that same people. people. And somewhere else, uh, Bill Gates was saying, let Americans tax those of, uh, those of them that are billionaires, himself and, uh, and uh, Ber Berliner. Buffett. No, himself and Berliner. That they are ready to even come in with more tax to be able to, to take this money to take care of the people. Why are they saying so? Because the leadership there, they recognize that, look, we are making money out of the people. But still, let us use this okay. money to be able to make people to have a good social economy well-being. They were even talking about living wage. Okay, so if, you were to, if, if both of you are to um, recommend to the government, well, that has been increased by February, we'll start the, the, the implementation, 7.5%. If you are to... Um, imp advise the government on what to do with the monies. What, at what, what uh, specific projects do you expect the government to put the monies in? Number one, I wouldn't even advise them to increase VAT. But it's been done now. Do you understand? But it's been done now. now. So, whatever money that is accruing from that VAT, let it go to social services. Let people have good accommodation. Okay. Let people have health facilities. Let us have good rules. Let us have good, I mean, uh, 24 hour supply lights. Because the moment all these things, Nigerians, Nigerians, we don't demand much from the, from the government mm. now. All we want is good living conditions. Condition. Good in, living, in, that's all. In 2014, the United Nations gave answer to that question as to the problem. It was um, October 17, World um, Poverty Eradication Day in 2014. And the United States, the only thing that can be done, the United Nations says that the only thing that can be done to, um, to eradicate poverty or alleviate it mm. um, in, in the world is for government to actually allocate more resources to people living in abject poverty. In other words, when you know that, like he said, what are the basic problems that we are facing? A country of 200 million people, the government will come and lie that they've generated um, um, uh, 8,000, was it 8,000 or 10,000 megawatt of electricity? What is my problem with generation? If you, if, you like, if you like, generate 50,000 megawatt of electricity. So far, you cannot distribute same amount. There's nothing to celebrate in it. Mm. Now we are hovering between 4,000 and 5,000, and everybody goes to church to, to shout hallelujah. And you know that the 21st century does not have its own uh, new project. The 21st century is a century of innovation, mm. developing on the project and That's the principles it, it of the past. But these projects and principles cannot be developed upon if there's no power. So, for example, we can say all this thing we are generating, we are putting it in power. It's very easy for this government to look back and say, oh, Bassanjo government, $16 billion. I've heard it repeatedly. When Fashola was to become the, the minister of power the, the other time, he said it. It's on record that he was going to turn everything around. But you were here the other time when I said the man could not turn his table around. So we All must right. identify this area and put money okay. and monitor it to grow. Right. Let's head straight to the papers now. And I begin with the Daily Times. Ihe Dioha heads to Supreme Court to seek judgment review. Group, groups query decision say review would save democracy. On the front page of the News Direct, 
federal government gulps 3.15 trillion naira from 5% VAT in three years, contributes 37% to, to total non-oil revenue. On the front page of the Daily Trust now, FCT healthcare centers in deplorable condition lack drugs, manpower. To the blueprint, uh, Buhari to Danjuma, Nigerians, confidence in me matters most, not yours. A safety net scheme yet to impact majority of Shibadri. To the business AM, bank profitability faces pressure from high CRR, says analysts. And finally, on the front page of the Nation newspaper, Buhari, Oshibajo and I have perfect relationship. No cabal running my government. All right, gentlemen, <coughs> we'll be looking at the story on the front page of the Daily Times this morning, uh, talking about uh, Ihedioha heading to the Supreme Court to seek judgment review. I wonder if you see anything coming out of this, Dotum. I'll start with you. <laughs> it is funny because um, if... Um, you look at uh, precedents, really. Yeah. You discover that um, the Supreme Court might have made a mistake, if anybody thinks so. Mm. And um, we are not here to argue whether there was the a mistake or not. or not. But if you look at what has happened in the past, then I doubt whether anything will come out of it. In fact, I, I remember, I remember, and um, November second, two thousand and nine when the Supreme Court gave verdict against um, the then former governor, I don't know whether the Constitution recognized him as a one-time governor, governor of Iva <laughs> State, or Mehia, you understand, who actually went back to the Supreme Court to review and interpret his judgment. Mm. You know, and his own case is a little bit different because he went through the appeal court. He first went to the appeal court that the appeal court should, should interpret the judgment of the Supreme Court. Those guys said, we do not have the capacity to, to do, do that. So, yeah. so he... After a pickle struck out his case, he went to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court said something, I think one of the justices said something that time, that um, we might have made mistake, but if you want to appeal, you have to appeal to God. And I think <laughs> that is the case in this manner now. I doubt whether anything will come out of it. I, I, I thought initially when PDP was protesting, when uh, everybody was speaking, I thought there was another alternative in all honesty, I never knew that they would still have to go back, back to, the to the court. The court that you have accused of incompetence, mm. the court that you have accused of uh, bias, now you are going back to the same court to reverse or review itself. I, I think it's going to be exceedingly difficult, not practically <coughs> impossible. All right, uh, Dr. Kayode. Yeah, you see, um, of recent, I did a kind of a periscope on international democratic activities yeah and i find out that <clears throat> elections in nigeria are the most contested for in the court mm. <clears throat> i'm telling you look at the last rerun we had this last saturday yeah what brought about all those rerun because of court cases i can assure you by tomorrow you will see them going back to court mm. again mm. so the question now is why can't we make our electoral process to be so adequate enough to reduce the number of court cases and by so doing reducing electoral the reforms. amount of electoral fraud and money being spent and do you know why it will be difficult because since inception nobody has been penalized for electoral fraud is that the issue even including even including the court mm. look at the uh, uh your case, case. The so-called governor of Imo State now, uh, Uzo Joma, was he part of the contestants? Was the, has the court not disqualified him? Because those are the questions that uh, 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 Ihejo uh, is they, putting those before are the, the questions courts. they are putting across to the court. Is it not the same court that disqualified him? But was, was he himself name? able to prove beyond reasonable the issue that is this. evidence before the court is what matters? But the question is even this. Why the court is also looking at that case? Is the court not supposed to have looked at what has happened in the past 
as regards this particular it is election. It is the evidence you bring before the court that but matters. It, is it not an evidence? Is it when when court has given a judgment, when when you have when a court has given a judgment. For you to give another judgment, you made references it, to its some judgment other judgment was based, you have made. Its judgment was based on what was before it. The but fact the, the, issue at, is at, this. At time. the issue is this. The issue is this. Mm. Uh, this same court, this same court, mm -hmm. while looking at the ballot papers, and then while looking at the ballot, the votes that were cast during that election, did they find Hope's okay. name? in those ballot papers mm -hmm. before not declaring him. So what brought about his name? They don't, they don't, for, they don't for him mean, to be declared you, you as see? now the governor of Imo State. Mm -hmm. You see, there are, some, there are some issues that we should shy away from so that it won't give us a kind of embarrassment mm -hmm. within the national community that we belong to. Importantly. Do you understand? If, if somebody was not part of an election, if so, somebody no, has so, been, no, no, if somebody has doctor, been, a judge, a judge. The issue now doctor, is the fact that you want to say something. Yes, the the you see when you enter for an election, you are not the owner of the ballots cast for your political party. Mm -mm. Your political party owns the ballot. In other words, when whose you are name going, was on that ballot? When you are, when you are election. going, when you are going, land, when you are going for going. an election. You are going to vote any vote cast. He's speaking for, from experience. Yes, now. either I'm for, also speaking from either experience. For, hold on, sir. Either for the individual candidate or for the political party, everything goes to political party. Right. That was why, in the case of Kogi State, a man came out, was contesting contested the election, and the election was declared inconclusive yes. earlier on. Yes. And because the, the, the entire vote belongs to the political party, yeah, another right. person has to but come that person to, was in the primaries. to inherit. So mm. whether somebody it's is different. in the primary that or not, one, it's not what was Belo, Belo the came, Listen, court. listen. Belo came, came second, second in the in primary. Uh, and right. because this guy died, the person that came he second, he, he the person he that he inherited will have to inherit. Mm. Unlike this one, unlike this one, what I'm trying to somebody make, else, what the point I'm trying to make, was even on the ballot box. This same person, so, but the issue now, by when the, by the Dr. Kayade, would you give me one minute? Let me make we don't have up to a minute. Okay, let me make clarification. <laughs> when this case happened between Amechi and Omeya, we, we have to Amechi go. never contested the election, but Omeya was he, won, in the he never contested. He was, was at the, the primary, but he never contested. In the, the issue here, day. gentlemen, so the issue here is not as to whether contesting somebody contested or not. Or not. But the, the fact with, is, is going the to review court. And I doubt whether the Supreme Court is going anyway, to review like I said, or reverse like, like itself. Yeah. Said, like you said, let it go to God's judge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let let him partner, take it before God. That's yeah. the case. All right, gentlemen, we'll leave it at this point. But thank you, Dr. Dayakayade, Dr. Onjo, for your time it's on the newspaper pleasure. review this morning. You're watching TVC Breakfast, and we're streaming live on YouTube. You can connect with us on Twitter using the hashtag TVC 